Hey, what's up folks? In this video, we're taking a look at the Adafruit Cutie Pie. This cute little dev board features the SAMD 21E, 11 GPIO pens, and a built-in Stemma QT connector. It's got CircuitPython support, so it'll work with all of Adafruit's libraries and example code. With the Moo Python editor, you can use the built-in tools for plotting data and outputting to the serial monitor. To install CircuitPython, head over to circuitpython.org and search for Cutie Pie. Be sure to select your preferred language and download the latest. Check out the Cutie Pie Learn Guide for a full breakdown of the pinouts, board profiles for Arduino, and the CAD files. Stemma QT makes it easy to plug and play with I2C sensors so you can quickly get your projects up and running. Adafruit has tons of Stemma QT breakouts so you can play with a whole ecosystem of sensors and displays. In this project, we designed and 3D printed a LEGO compatible mount for housing the Cutie Pie. It's got built in clips so it'll secure the board without any hardware screws. Just snap fit the board with the USB connector fitted through the notch. We lit up our LEGO store set and fitted the Cutie Pie on the back with our 3D printed mount. We added a strip of ultra skinny NeoPixels to the ceiling underneath the roof. We think these are perfect for fitting into tight spaces. These cables allow you to easily disconnect the strip of NeoPixels from the Cutie Pie. Compared to the JSTPH connector, the Pico connector is much smaller, which makes it perfect for fitting into smaller builds. We connected the wires to A2, 5V, and the ground pins. These are castellated pads, so they're super nice to solder. Using tweezers can be really helpful when soldering wires to the ultra skinny NeoPixel strip. We needed to be really careful not to bridge the voltage wire with the data line. They could be a bit tricky to wire up, so you'll want to use a set of third helping hands. We made sure to test the strip out before embedding it into the LEGO set. The strip is flexible, so it can wrap around the drop ceiling of the LEGO set. It features a sticky backing, so it's really easy to mount it to surfaces. The connector is fitted through a small opening on the back, and the Cutie Pie is mounted to these studs. Then we can plug in the strip to the Cutie Pie. This USB battery is fitted into a small enclosure that we built into the roof of the LEGO set. A DIY USB cable is nice to use because it has a right angle connector. And there you have it, that's how we upgraded our LEGO set with a Cutie Pie and NeoPixels. I hope this inspires you to pick up a Cutie Pie and try out CircuitPython. Thanks so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more products from Adafruit.